Okay, let's get a look, take a look at your weather for today across the nation here from Abaco and the remainder of the Bahamas. We've got a frontal system. Frontal system is just to the north of the Abacos and Grand Bahama. The front's going to be sagging a little slowly south before it weakens and dissipates. Another primary frontal system that's producing quite a bit of showers and uh, in serious weather over the midsection of the United States will be making its way down, but not before the latter part of the weekend into early next week. Taking a look at our, sa our surface map and uh, satellite imagery com uh, com combination in motion, you'll see how the system has moved. Let's go back to that for just a minute. See how the system has moved over the past uh, 24 hours or so, having a little challenge. Here we go, getting it together. But here we go, this, you see how the high pressure moves off to the east. Here's the high, you notice it right there. It's gonna slide off to the east and the frontal system comes down. What the high does, it moves out of the way, makes way for the front to come. And as a result, we've now got some cloud coverage, some uh, light clouds over the Abacos earlier this morning, had some offshore showers and some of those filtered onshore as well, mainly around the Keys. On our satellite imagery, you'll see the infrared, a little blob of clouds across the Abacos and Grand Bahama to the northeast of, east of Grand Bahama over Walkers and the Keys. Let me bring it a little closer so you'll see it a little better. Here we go, clouds over north and little Abacos, some clouds just to the north of Grand Bahama and some uh, cloud coverage down to South Andros, uh, between South Andros and Havana. Otherwise, pretty nice across the Bahamas today. Taking a look at our uh, radar uh, uh, composite imagery, we've got showers just down near uh, the Georgetown area, one or two showers offshore Abaco, but otherwise it's a really nice morning to fly to Nassau. It will be a pretty good flight, even flying into Miami. Here is your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day forecast. Uh, the winds 10 to 15 knots, still some ocean swells out there. Motors exercise extreme caution. 10 to 15 at the nation's capital, northeasterly swells continuing. They should begin to diminish by tomorrow. 10 to 15 knots again, up and down the coast of the nation. In Luther, you'll get 10 to 15 as well. Down there near Governor's Harbor, down also down to Cape Eleuthera, 10 to 15 on Spanish Wells and Bryla in the tropics. Nothing really happening in the tropics as we are. Uh, you know, tomorrow's going to be my last day giving you a tropical update. Hurricane season's over, folks. There's nothing there. Let's get right to the forecast for tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, the leading edge of that frontal system is going to be down near the south central Bahamas. Uh, as you see the front there, the trailing edge will be just up uh, to the east of the Abacos. Notice the front would not have gone south of us. It's the way it's configured itself will be just to the east of us. So we're, we wouldn't be experiencing any uh, type conditions at all from that. Is this occluded front that's extending from all the way up to the Canadian Maritimes down towards Mexico into Brownville, Texas? bringing with it some showers and thunderstorms, snow flurries up north for Thanksgiving Day and into tomorrow. Friday's conditions look for 10 to 15 knots up and down the coast of the Bahamas. Uh, southeast, the wind's direction switches southeast to south. Looking at your Saturday forecast, excellent for boating. Wow, look at this. We got five to 10 knots out there on Saturday. Four, four to six feet, that should be showing four to six feet offshore. Um, and southeasterly winds, so slight warming up trend. Enjoy Saturday because late Sunday and Monday, it will begin to change with the arrival of that frontal system. Okay, here is your boating forecast for today. We're looking at uh, four to seven foot seas. These winds will be 10 to 15 knots. We do ask you to exercise some degree of caution as you do uh, go on out there boating today. It's, uh, 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 again, small craft should be very careful how you go. We'll keep northerly swells and um, southern Bahamas, 10 to 15 knots, four to seven foot seas offshore. High tides occurring to 10, 23 in the morning, low at 5 p.m. in the afternoon, early evening, uh, high tonight at 10.47 p.m. Excellent for you to do boating. I know you'll enjoy, well, when I say boating, fishing off the rocks late tonight. Fishing off the rocks late this evening will be just all right. Good. 
morning and thank you. That's our weather from BCN's Weather Center. From our partners at Sky Bahamas Limited.